Well, it is Mental Health Awareness Month, and a new survey is sounding the alarm about anxiety in young children. 86% say that they have worries. So Bradley Blackburn has more on how the pandemic may have worsened the situation. Like many kids across the country, 12-year-old Maeve Bradley had to stay home during the pandemic. But when she returned to the classroom, she says her mind filled with worries. Because like we were doing a lot of stuff like on the computer, and now it's like back with different like kind of tests and stuff. Let's go, Maeve! For a while, Maeve took a break from team sports. But through it all, her mom, Mora, was ready to listen. I just wanted to make sure she knew she could come and talk and... Um, no matter what, we would be there for her. A survey from Nemours Kids Health finds more than one in three kids aged 9 to 13 worry at least once a week, most often about school or friendships. But more than half don't think adults understand their concerns. More important than the content of the worry is the frequency and the magnitude of the worry. Nemours CEO Dr. Lawrence Moss says for some kids, worries can lead to depression and mental health problems that extend into adulthood. Of serious mental illness in the adult population, 75% started before age 14. So if we don't jump on top of this problem, we're literally at risk of losing a whole generation of Americans. Dr. Moss says parents should be proactive by simply asking kids what's on their mind. Can you talk to us? Yeah. For the Bradley family, that starts early, even for seven-year-old Quinn. Maeve is now better and back to playing sports. Maeve, why did you want to talk about this? I know that some kids are like really struggling and I just want to know like that there's people who are going through the same thing. Kids who need adults to take their worries to heart. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.